Benvenuti nella mia cucina. Welcome to my kitchen. Hi, my name is Linda, and today we're cooking two traditional classic Italian dishes. One is a puttanesca, which is a red sauce with capers, onions, black olives, and anchovies. And the second is a spaghetti alla vacca, which is also a red sauce, but with cream and a splash of vacca. But what you didn't know is that we're going to marry or combine these two recipes together. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Making this dish truly original, unique, and Italian inspired. You know, I like to visit Italy someday to travel back to my family roots and to connect my love of cooking with this culture and country. What we will be using today is one quarter cup of chopped onion, two to three cloves of chopped garlic. If you're a garlic lover, then go with the three. Two ounces of anchovy, which is packed in olive oil. And this will give our recipe a salty, nutty taste. Salt and pepper to taste. Now we're gonna add some crushed red pepper to give this recipe a little bit of a bite. But if you prefer crushed black pepper, that's fine. We're gonna add a quarter cup of vodka, and we're gonna add a quarter cup of black olives. If you like, you could also use Kalamata olives. Two tablespoons of capers, 28 ounces of crushed red tomatoes, and this here is new Philadelphia cooking cream. It's the original. It is a 10 ounce container, and this recipe we're only going to use five ounces. So that's gonna be half. Using this will give our recipe a rich, creamy, delicious taste. Later, we're going to add, for garnish, some Parmigiano Reggiano, freshly grated Italian cheese, and some fresh chopped parsley. Back here, I have my water boiling, ready for the one pound of spaghetti that we're going to add. So let's get cooking. Okay, what we did here was I added the onion and the garlic and I sauteed that. But what I did was I used the olive oil from the anchovy. So now I'm going to add the anchovy to the pan. And then what I'm going to do is just let this cook down. And what it's going to do is melt and just disintegrate. Okay, here you can see that the anchovy is all cooked down. I added the salt and pepper to get that heat started. And now I'm gonna add the vodka. And what this is going to do is deglaze the pan. So we'll give this a little stir, and then add this back onto the stove and cook it just for a minute. Okay, what we did here was I added the black olives and the capers and gave it a quick little stir and what I'm going to do is add these tomatoes these are 28 ounces of crushed red tomatoes stir that around a little bit and then I'm going to add this back to the stove and let it simmer before we add the cream what I did was we incorporated this all the ingredients together and look how beautiful this sauce came out. I cooked the pasta al dente so you want to make sure that it's not too soft or undercooked. So now I'm going to pour the sauce on top of the spaghetti. Look at this, how lovely this is. I'm going to spread this around. What I'm going to do is garnish it with some imported Italian Reggiano. And some freshly chopped parsley. Look how lovely this is. We are going to call this dish Spaghetti alla vacca puttanesca. As my grandmother would say, manja.